Remember BlockFi when all the state securities regulators were like, hey, BlockFi, I think you might be offering uh, some problematic products to the market. Well, a couple months after that all went down, we have this news that came out yesterday, first reported by our colleague Danny Nelson, that Chris Giancarlo, former CFTC chairman, is out of BlockFi's board of directors. He's stepping down after four months on the job. He's going to retain some sort of advisory role, uh, but it's definitely a step back from a prominent figurehead in the crypto regulatory space. So I'm going to toss this to you, Will. What does this mean for BlockFi? What should we be talking about when we see G uh, Christian Carlos step down from this position? Yeah, I, I'm disappointed you didn't say the, the journal phrase, right? If it quacks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's a duck. And so that's what they're worried about here with the security. If it looks like a security and sounds like a security, it's probably a security. And that's what they're uh, worried about the SEC here. And they hired Christian Carlos to kind of like facilitate them moving into the broader ecosystem as like a larger financial player. And they have a lot of other products that they offer besides just this one product. And they wanted to become an EO bank. And uh, I think, you know, it's very clear that a, a lot of people use regulators and former regulators to kind of uh, shimmy their way up the ladder a little bit quicker. And uh, that is not working out right now because ostensibly about this product, or at least that's like the narrative that's really easy to pull together is that state securities offices are worried about this product. And uh, why would uh, Giancarlo put his reputation on the line uh, from behind the doors? I'd be interested to see if it was something else. Like there could be reasons for uh, why he wanted to leave uh, just like four months into, into his tenure there. Uh, but you know, connecting the dots doesn't smell great. Naomi, I want to throw this back up to you. This is probably conflicting for you. You have a regulator leaving the firm, which is probably good, but also it's over a security concern. So a little contrast there. Yeah, it, it's also interesting that it sort of parallels the Brian Brooks leaving Binance US, right? Because Giancarlo and Brian Brooks were both in the news at the same time. We had these former, you know, head regulators that then move into the crypto space. It was like, it created a big stir. Brian Brooks lasted just a few months as CEO of uh, Binance US, coming from being the former comp acting comptroller of the currency. And now Giancarlo from the CFTC is uh, joining BlockFi and then quits after four months. So it's just very interesting to watch these things happen. And it's interesting to see these tactics from these firms where they bring in these former regulators ostensibly to try and fix things up. Then the former regulators leave. Um, so like, what does that say? Does that say that these things are beyond repair, that all of these companies are in so much trouble that these people don't want to be associated with it? Or are there other things going on there? Like, It's not quite clear what exactly is going on behind the scenes, but very interesting. But Zach, I'll throw to you. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a great point. There was a lot of reason to be bullish on the DC crypto revolving door earlier this year. We saw a bunch of activity uh, happening in that direction, right? Former regulators, former pr uh, prominent officials joining crypto firms in some capacity. Now we have two very big sort of bear signals on that front where these two uh, intertwined former regulators are out the door. So whether or not we're going to see people, uh, you know, transition over into the crypto world from the regulatory world, I think that's a much more interesting question now as these uh, doubts enter the market. Jen, I'll toss it to you. You guys kind of took everything I was going to say, but I, I was just going to say it's, it's kind of concerning when the only independent board member steps steps down from his position. It, it makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes and if if the situation is fixable. It kind of points towards even more regulatory crackdown in our future. I, I don't think we've seen the worst of what's about to happen with regulation when it comes to the crypto space. But Ben, I think I saw your hand go up. Yeah, I mean, it's just been a string of bad press, unfortunately, for BlockFi kind of since, you know, these sort of laudatory raises happening earlier this year. Um, you know, this is not the first time this has happened. <laughs> uh, there's been, you know, kind of faulty giveaways in their tech system that incorrectly awarded people millions of dollars in Bitcoin. Um, you know, they clawed most of it back, but some people took like tens of thousands of dollars off the platform, even though BlockFi said like, no, you can't. And they tried to cancel those withdrawals. We've had, you know, them again, yet again, arbitrarily lowering interest rates and causing some people to take money off the platform. You have the state regulators starting to look at this. You have Giancarlo leaving. And I think, you know, as we've talked about all these like massive valuations of these crypto native companies that we've been seeing, and, you know, every other day, it feels like there's some of the unicorn. It's really interesting to see a company as large as BlockFi and raise the valuation they have sort of 
start to hit those stumbles that we might have expected and we've seen across kind of various boom and bust cycles in regards to tech giants uh, more naturally. So it's going to be one I keep watching, but that's sort of to me, this is just yet another data point in this constellation of stuff that is not looking super great. Just really quick personal request for Coindesk. Can we send Danny Nelson undercover into BlockFi? Well, now that you told everyone, I don't know that this process. I don't know that we can do it now that you said it. Control, contact Danny. Tell him to get out now. All right. Super stealth, guys. Super stealth. Compromise the safety of our of our undercover reporter. Will God, what are you doing? All right, anyway, uh, no, 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 uh, right. no nefarious misdeeds uh, were committed in the reporting of this piece. Uh, 